again Call my bluff, I'ma be you to the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to Hi guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Garni Bless and Lexi right there we are on our way to the park well basically we are at the park but we are walking to go further down into the park i know that it has been a while but guess what i am here now i was so busy doing all the work you know but i am here right now and today um i guess i'm gonna do a little story time well i'm gonna talk about my school days so i'm gonna talk about from the time I started school until the time I stopped going to school all right so I'm gonna find a little place to sit because I can't hold this thing all the time and yes the hair look bad from uh, so when I do it July August September October now still going but not have time to pull it up so yeah Uvex and this I don't know what who love me why that bump come there but anyway guys so let's talk about it let's talk about school okay guys so I found a little spot that I can sit down and I don't have to hold it so today I'm gonna talk about my journey from infant to college yeah infant school to college so somebody, the person that loves me reveal reveal on yourself please all right so i remember going to faith basic school that's where i started off i started from i was two and i went to faith basic seven day adventist school right there in dover st mary big up herself miss judy lewis she is still the principal of that school she was the principal back in my days um the foundation i must say had a good foundation when it comes to education because faith basic school it was well rounded you know spiritually mentally academically all the alley faith basic school so if you are living anywhere in the region of St. Mary Portland you know and you're looking for a good institution faith seven day Adventist basic school right there in Dover right where they had the Adventist churches that's where the school is and to me that's the school of choice okay I went there my daughter went there my sisters um, they went there and so far we can say the foundation because if you don't have a good foundation sometimes it's gonna be very hard all right so I can only remember miss Judy Lewis for my time I know that now she have miss Paul Dean and they have miss Phipps and miss what a lady name from the Afro Port and Jonah there miss Martin and yeah all them people there um well auntie cheryl she used to be there not there anymore i know that miss beulah used to be there too i think miss smith used to be there not sure i don't remember but from my time i can only remember that miss judy lewis was there and the foundation yeah it was a good foundation all right after that school i went to windsor castle all age school I can remember some things from Windsor, but not everything. But I am a product, past student of the Windsor Castle All Age School, now infant and primary school. At Windsor Castle School, I remember Miss Marriott. At one time, Miss Marriott was a principal mayor, so rest in peace. I remember Miss um, Olga Terrier, or Miss Carwin. She was the principal at one time. And the teacher that stood out in my mind was. Ooh, Mr. Price. I don't remember the first name, but Mr. Price with him shine head. Look here. Nobody mess with Mr. Price. And you're in a Mr. Price class, you have to learn. Mr. Price used to take off his shoes and take out his belt and run down them boy down a grass road. Who remember down a grass road? I don't know if they still have grass road down. But in my time, down a grass suit and the boy them shut it down there and Mr. Price back at them so you know you're in a Mr. Price class them free time but you're learning and he used to teach grade 6 I remember him as a teacher I remember Miss Davis she used to teach 
I want to say she used to work like teach foods or something like that. I remember Miss Jackson, the short lady. Um, I remembered uh, Miss McCleary. Honestly, I can't remember who. I know that Mr. Price was my teacher at one time. And there are others that I can't remember right now. But yes, um, at Windsor School, my experience there, um, it was a good experience too. You know, I started out, I went there and grade one, grade two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I remember in grade six, by the time I get to grade six, they no longer had the, what they call it, common entrance. They used to have common entrance, and that's what common entrance used to be. Common entrance, and then they have, yeah, com common entrance. It was what you used to, is you used to take this exam, and then you'll go to a different school. But by the time I got to grade six, the people them decide say them not use common entrance anymore. They're gonna try um, GSAT. In 1999, they decided they're gonna try GSAT. So GSAT now is like my group become the guinea pig, the trial. You know, with them a tried pan, like the you know all them things that them a try pan people now. Same thing. So them try the GSAT, and uh, I was placed at I don't know if it's pass or place or what. But then put me at both be high school. I mean, nowadays some people them kind of condemn both be high because it's not a traditional school. But I must stop it because in my time I didn't know about traditional or non-traditional or anything. All I know, I, they put me at both be high, and I was so excited because if you did a pass, then you're gonna stay back at this at Windsor. You're gonna stay there. Nobody wants to stay back. You know, people stay back and then go to grade 9 and they do the achievement test there and they turn out good. But in grade 6, you don't want to stay back um, to go to grade 7 and everybody has gone to high school. So, the day when they said I was going to Buff Bay High, happy than me, Uno could have fine. It was a rainy Friday evening and when school dismissed, I take off of that hill, Windsor Hill, and I run and I run and I run. To do over, because share the good news. Eh? I passed for Buff Bay High, and I went down and uh, you know spread the good news, and everybody were they were happy. At that time, you're just going to high school, and that's all that matter. We're going to high school, and I'm not going to stay back. So that was that. I uh, went to Buff Bay High School. I went to grade seven, and I met some friends, still a part of my life now, like Vikisha Brown. Big up yourself self girlfriend so at Buff Bay High that's where I start to take school more serious because you know basic school you know I think serious you just go to school the parents send you to school and you go to school Windsor Castle same thing I go to school and you know I think about future Buff Bay High grade 7 wasn't thinking about future either I remember they put me in the class around near where they I don't know if some folk could near around there so or uh, like the farm I think at the farm around there so my grade seven day the farm teacher was miss buckingham big up herself miss buck miss sandra buckingham she was the her, she was my farm teacher in grade seven and uh, um what i can remember in grade seven i met some friends like i remember carrie and Ba. you know big up herself wherever you are but two of those friends that i still um talk with right now like right now maybe even last night is Vikisha Brown and Denisha Reed. Those are two of the persons that I still am in contact with and they were my grade seven friends. So what happened in grade seven? Um, get myself in a, you know, two time, no, one time I remember. Um, we get myself in a little trouble. We never know if me really involved, involved, but they make me have to apologize and all these things because, you know, you just have to feel yourself in a grade 7 and the class got divided in a two group because you remember two groups so right now me are like both me depend on the two sides me no, me no malice none of them but so a group of children now from one of the side take up some chair like it was lunch time and they took the chair from out of the class that is the other side class the other side chair you know take them up carry them around the folk or bar around the farm so when they put them, eat them, get them lunch and come back, no cheer in the class for them. And them go report it. 
I think at that time, you know, some Miss Gabby Dan must have did there some principal or something. I don't remember. But they reported it and we have to go down and me I have to go down there too, you know. And she interviewed everybody and asked who did this, who did that, do that. I guess they apologize just as bad as they do because me go around there with them. Care not chair, but everybody have to apologize and say them now go do it again and something. So that was the first time when we really get in a little trouble. Both be I. Um, lunch, the best lunch up from both be I. People, remember Prudence and Miss G. And Miss G, she name? Must be Miss G. And when you got there, you say Prudence, $150 um, breast curry gravy. <laughs> you know, so you get your rice and peas with your fried chicken and like a curry gravy on the side and a bust of a perk. A perk is my name. Of a perk shop. You bust down your something. Them days that they lit. Talk it through with all the people them way. Go buff be I know about Miss G and Prudence, chicken and perk and buster or a bag juice or a big jaw box um, big jaw box drinks. We had lunch for we. So them days that maybe me that I go to school for the for just to wait for lunch time to go buy that lunch day. Me eat my belly full. <laughs> no sir. Yeah, so it was a lunch for me. Um then I remember we did exam, you know them things there and first time I come eleven. But I must say 30 something bit and become 11, place 11. So, nothing no way about it, but then they put up a name on the board. Well, my name don't make it on the board because I put up from top 10 up on the board. So, my name don't go on the board. So, that was kind of like a wake up call because I want to see my name on the board too. So, I don't really want, I want to come first or not. You know, I just want my name on the board. So, so the second exam now become 10, so I know my name on the board. So alright, school get it there and now it's time for grade 8. So I'm coming grade 8. Um, in grade 8, Miss Molloy, Nadine Molloy, she became the principal now of the school. So Miss Molloy was the principal and in grade 8, I was in there. And there's three months, so like they had 7 1, 7 2, or 7 3, 7, you know, 7 4. They've gone good, they move up and come into 7 1. If you're in 7 1, you're not going good, they move out when you go to grade 8. So, Grade 8 now, Miss Molai come at the school. Miss Molai really come there and she made a difference. I must say, transformation, this, the vegetation started to look better. This paint, the painting, everything. It was just, she came there with a breath of fresh air, I must say. And that's where maybe my life started to change. Before, my life started to change. After, I got into one more trouble one more trouble so we had a teacher you know like what them call it like a college teacher who come from tp teaching practice so the the man was mr uh, honestly i don't remember the man name married it maybe married it so this man now used to come and teach us maths and the children never like him so one day he was coming up to he was it was his time so like it was 10 o'clock and he should come there 10 o'clock so the kids locked the door and inside here so basically them lucky more me now climb up on a chair and put my head through the window to look to see if the man come in and guess what happened me and the man here yeah, I make four when me look out is the man that me see and the man turn back and the man got report said them lucky out. you know so me have forgotten that now too you know so when them car we don't and we go down our office me have to there too um, I mean, him see up there, look through the window. I mean, I let this man out, but made it up there. <laughs> look. So we go and we have a. This time, Miss Molly gets Miss Molly serious. My first time I meet Miss Molly, you know, you know, she in the school with her first me meeting her. So, Miss Molly said, Detention, everybody, detention. All who lock the door, come forward. You know, me never lock the door, but the man see me and look through the window. So, Detention man, that was my first detention. The first time in a grade seven, we just get talked to and apologize. But this time no, detention anyway. So detention and the Miss Molly said, we have to come in devotion. Like they used to have devotion, general devotion on Wednesdays. So you have to come in devotion. You're going to apologize. So of course, them take the mic and everybody. Good afternoon, whatever, whatever. So sorry for locking the door and whatever. So we never lock no door. So you know what that may I say? So I go up and I say, 
I am sorry for standing on the chair. Miss Molly gave me one duck in on my side. I said, ah, ah. They said, but I was good. Um, you know, I didn't lock the man out. She said, for disturbing the class. So I had to, good afternoon, teachers and principal and students. I am sorry for disturbing the class. So, <laughs> Lord of mercy. And we all did that. And I think that was the first and the last time. After that, it's like Miss Molly always seen me everywhere I go. Miss Molly, I make Miss Molly, I make four. But it was for a good reason, I think. Then I um, started to get involved with Auntie Colleen, big up herself, Auntie Colleen from Love 101. We had a good relationship, and them used to have like the small people show. And because of me, Auntie Colleen came to Buff Bay High when I was in grade 8 and she did an outside broad broadcast from Buff Bay High and you know, everybody know like who know the small people program you go and you perform and whatever and it was a success and I remember in grade 9 she was back again at Buff Bay High so you know basically me start become famous yes guys, me changing my location because the sun kind of burned me so me kind of come look famous if you want to call it that because me and my radio station come at the school, come big up the school, you know me I say? No people don't know about Buff Bay High, but now everybody know about Buff Bay High. As long as you listen to Love 101, you know about Buff Bay High. And I performed, I think that was where I first realized, say, me don't know if I'm shy, no. I honestly think I'm shy, but that was my first exposure, like, stand up and go say poem and thing and thing and act skit and something. So, you know, me tell her my life changed now because Miss Mola kind of look out for me. Me walk. If me go up on the left, she has say, me need to go up on the right. If me blows, me, me blows one fix, she has say fix. So it's like, this lady does her watch out for me now. So you know, say, me have to be a, me have to change you now. My ways, them jokey jokey way. And yeah, me have a little cousin to, you know, Winston Powell or Jerome. Me soul rest in peace. We used to do that, man. And, it's like we're the two clowning at the class. Yeah, man, grade seven. We make them laugh grade eight. Yeah, but then I think he did dead, you know, fatally when he reached grade eight. But yeah, that was that. And then I went to grade eight. So that's what I remember from grade eight. Then I went to grade nine. And um, yeah, I continue coming like if I come first, I come second. Up there, them, something they may go on with. Remember, them have sports day. Wait, I must go to this a joke. Yeah? The first, you see, everybody know that me love track and field. But track and field is don't love me. When I was in grade seven, they had sports day and I was in Yellow House. Um, what the lady name? Miss Morrison. Miss Morrison and Mrs. Smith, them use in charge. And me there, I'm going to run sports day. And I honestly think so I could have run. And you know, like when you do a 150 race, then put you like a stagger. You stagger, like lane 8, they up at front, lane 7, and lane 1, the winner of the corner, well, me then a lane 8. Me think so, I, I was at the front. That's what I thought. I was at the front. So I say, yeah, man, this race and my race, you see, when we shot it around the corner, by me reach the corner, everybody passed me. I came dead last. <laughs> dead last, no. And I said, no, say, running is not for me. I believe if Mr. Brown was the coach at that time at Buff Bay High, I would be doing some kind of throwing event. I would be doing discus or shot put or something. But you know, them time they never really take track and field serious. Like, as a school, they didn't really take it seriously. I think that it, it, the school started to become famous for track and field when Mr. Brown went there. So, big up yourself, Mr. Brown. So, grade 9, uh, you know, go through grade 9. Let me know if nothing happened in grade 9. Go on, grade, um, by grade 10, no, you don't know, it's a prefect time. And they selected me to be a prefect. We had to do the interview, whatever I was chosen. And then went to grade 11, was recommended to do CXCs. 
and then exam time now she, no money wasn't there to pay for my cxc so even though I, rec I got recommended for them there was no money to do them so this teacher that said i should wait until the other year to do the cxc by this time i met jenny jenny yes jennifer small i met her and you know when she was asking about cxc i was telling her i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna do it the other year but, you know follow based on what the man told me and she said no, I think you should do the CXC now. And if you don't pass, um, at least next year when you're doing it, you have an idea of what the paper would be like, which makes sense. So one day I was at school, still don't know where the money gonna come from. I was at school and um, Miss Muller's sister, that is Jen, said to me, you need to call jenny jenny and tell her thanks and was like for what she was like she paid for all your cxc's you need to call her so thank you again jenny jenny i really appreciate it and that you paying for my cxc changed my life completely so you see i really had a lot of influential person in my life a lot of person who wanted the, to see me succeed but guess what i didn't talk about any of the teacher my favorite teacher while i was at buff bay hi in grade 7 and grade 8, it was Paula Jackson. She is now the principal of Portland High. She was my favorite. She used to teach computer. And she was my favorite teacher. She got me um, a Spanish dictionary. My only Spanish dictionary was given to me by Miss Paula Jackson. And I, we still keep the connection. And she was my favorite teacher there. But then she left. And then my favorite teacher now was Miss Gabby Cunningham yeah so that was my favorite teacher so I remember Miss Cunningham and Miss Paula Jackson um, I remember Mr. Chambers he used to teach um, art visual art and I still remember Mr. Chambers when um, he gave us a cube to draw so I'm backtracking, backtracking a little. So yeah, we reached CXZ, but I'm going back because this was, <laughs> this thing, I don't understand it. But um, Mr. Chambers, I really like him and everything. But I remember when I was in grade eight, Vikisha, you can testify. Um, He gave us a, what they call it? All right, so I'm gonna find somewhere else now. So yes, I remember he gave us a cube to draw. I'm gonna drop the cube and everything, you know. And Vicky shall come, can't draw the cube. So the man give me 70% of my cube. Then Vicky came now and uh, I drew her cube. Vicky got 80%. And I don't understand, like, what teachers really used to judge. Because I did both of them to me, the both of them look the same way. I got 70, Vicky got 80. But guess what? She's my friend. But I just couldn't understand the grading scheme. Like, what do you really use? But anyway, so I remember that. But then the tables turned. When I was in grade nine, I started to do physics. I don't know what. No, at the time, it's not like I could. I, I could choose if I wanted to or not. They let you. They expose you to all the subjects, and then you'll select what you want in grade ten. Well, physics and chemistry. I know I never want them. In physics class, they gave us something, I can't tell you, some velocity and some this and that and that, that. And Vikisha did mine. When I went up there, basically the teacher ran me away. I said, that is rubbish. That was rubbish. And they had a friend, Natalia, <laughs> Natalia Hamilton, anyway, they big up herself. She got up and she was like, that's not the way you talk to a student. And, and the man was like, do you want to do something about it? And, and my and my friend Natalie was like, if I could, I would. <laughs> because you remember them days there? But she stood up, you know, because the man really run me away and I like say, what is this? It's rubbish. And then Vikisha went with her work. So she did mine and I went up there. We were making something and they say it was rubbish. And then she went up with her work, the same thing. She got a hundred percent. So maybe that man never liked me. I don't know. But anyway, we're not going to go there. Which, yeah, this was the same man who told me that don't do the CXC this the year. 
I'm gonna do, try it the other year, so I don't know, but big up yourself wherever you are still, you know. So went to CXC and I did it, and I was successful, and then I was at a crossroad again now. So I have this CXC, but what do, what am I gonna do? Like the lady that the old lady that was telling me about that raised me, Emily. May her soul rest in peace. She died. So the same, the day the result came out for CXC, that was the same day. She died. And uh, so now, definitely, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know at the CXC, so I was thinking that I would go and look at road work, or I can maybe look at work in a supermarket. It's like that was what I was thinking, because there was no money to go and to go to college or anything. And then Miss Malloy, Miss Malloy to the rescue. God placed these people, I think it's Lily Folks or something like that, I don't remember their name. But I know that they're folks. It was a husband and a wife. The wife was a nurse and the husband was a teacher, but they were they they died. So their sons wanted to give someone from Portland a scholarship. They wanted to give someone a chance to be a nurse or a teacher. Now people, I didn't want to become a teacher. My mind was set on journalism and maybe because I had these people in my life, Jenny Jenny Anticoli, like yeah, journalism a thing there. Anything in journalism. But where the money I come from. So um you don't want to become a teacher and definitely not a nurse. Like big up yourself to all the nurses out there. I don't have anything against nurses, but the blood, like I think I I would faint. Like sometimes if patients come to me. You know, sometimes it's so, so traumatic. I know that I would, I would faint. I would faint. So I didn't want to become a nurse, but I guess the, I would have to try for the teacher. So I said, Miss Molly called me and she said, well, they need a scholarship. They need to give someone a scholarship. And, uh, you know, she's going to push for the teacher side of it because she was a teacher. So she said, okay, so you're going to do an interview in, at Hero Circle. And she told me the date and the time, just like that, you know. And uh, I said, okay, I'll be at Hero Circle. But well, this would be my first interview. This would be my second interview. My first interview was for the prefect position. So now, I was saying like, oh my God, I'm going to go to Hero Circle. I don't know where is Hero Circle. At this time, you know, I just finished. I was just finishing high school. So I was like 15. I was 15. Will be, will, be, will be turning 60 like the other year. So I remember Miss Blackwood, the Daisy Blackwood from the Dover Seven Day Adventist Church. Big up yourself. I know that she's dead, but I know that her soul is resting in peace. And I have to make sure I get my act together and set myself right so I can meet Daisy Blackwood again. Because Daisy Blackwood, she was not my mother, she was no relative, nothing to me, but she was there for me. When I told her about the scholarship and that I should go to Era Circle, she was like, oh, the same date I am going to go to Fish Eye Clinic in Papine, and uh, um, you can travel with me, I'll pay your fare and everything, and I'll travel, you travel with me, we'll go to Fish Eye Clinic, like early in the morning, like from 4 o'clock, get an early number, and then we'll go to Era Circle, because the interview there was like 3 o'clock. So anyway... The time came and we got up early in the morning and I would get one of them Clovis bus. Everybody know a Clovis bus, early morning bus. And we head to um, Papine first. Four o'clock we're out there. Four o'clock we leave um, Windsor. And we go to Fish Eye Clinic and she sought out her eye and whatever, whatever, whatever. And then it's time to go to Era Circle. And we went to Era Circle, Ministry of Education. I don't remember if it was Bertrand Whiteman was the Minister of Education or who, but it's none of these people right now. And when we went there, when we went to Euro Circle, we I saw Miss Muller, you know, everybody dress up, you know, jacket and tie, briefcase, people are moving, nice and bug. The time me now on my church clothes, well dressing on my church clothes, cause <laughs> yeah, me now not unbug or nothing like that. Just dress up in my church clothes and just black in our glasses and thing and when we went to saw Miss Muller, she just, she reached, we, were, we reached there the same time. And they click and they press elevator and they gone up. Miss Black would say, I'm not going in the elevator, you know. And the interview was on the like fourth floor, whatever floor, way up. And Miss, Miss Sister Black would say, 
we walking. So we walk and we go up round and around and around until we get to the top. And when I was there now, Miss Black would say, let us pray. And she was there praying. I was sitting outside. Well, while she was praying, they called for me to come inside. So I went inside. People, whenever you hear about Jesus, I feed him disciple or the Lord's Supper. The table, one long table from here so, to Jerusalem. One long table like where Jesus feed the, 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 the people them pan. At that kind of table, me see. I say, oh, what is? Me see the, the, the people them son that are Miss Fox. Son sitting on one side. Miss Molly at the end down there so. The Minister of Education. Me go say virtual white man, not sure. Sit over that side over there so. And me up on the other end up here so. And I saw me have my finger. Come here, say, Lord Jesus, what is for me? I have my finger so. And them start for interview. Why you think you should get the scholarship? I guess they have other people doing it too. I don't know if they are other, other, what they call them now, other candidates. I'm not sure. But I had my fingers like this. And question from left to right. Question from in front. And I saw the people that I asked my question. And people, my son in tell me not a praise myself, but I me don't know when I get them words there. I don't know how I get so polite. I don't know. But I started to answer and answer and answer, and the finger was like this. And I'm sitting there and they ask and they ask and they ask, and I think they don't have any more questions to ask. They said, That is it. You see, when they said that was it, I am still like, it's like I just want to answer question. I'm saying, That's it. Just ready, it's like me just ready for answer question. I'm nervous. I don't know the nervousness guy. I'm supposed to nervous. I did nervous before. When I'm going there and I have my fingers up, I don't know. But anyway, so when I got up and I went outside, Miss Blackwood sit, you know, you have some seat outside near the door. Miss Blackwood still sitting out there. So Miss Blackwood here. I saw my God because Miss Blackwood, you know. You know, so Miss Blackwood was praying from we started to pray. Before them call me in, Miss Black would not, not done prayer till I come out, and that's why I know that is one of my. In a way, this is a testimony because I proved there and then that God answered prayer because the the nervousness that I went inside, that I was feeling like weeks before, the day before, the exact day, that nervousness. I don't know where it went when I got inside. If you know me right now, I hate interview and all those things. I don't like those things. And I was sitting there and I was ready for the questions. And I know it was God that was doing the job. Long and short, I was I got through the scholarship. And Miss Muller said, well, now I can go to church teacher's college or I have to go to case. Well, you don't know. Yeah, I've got to choose case because case nearer to home. And yeah, we have more people in Portland than Manchester so went to case and uh, we did three years there at case I met some wonderful people again I met Miss Laverne Campbell Miss Belinda Makanoff she was the guidance counselor and she kind of guided me it's like everywhere I go from Infant Windsor Castle Buff Bay High especially from Buff Bay High moving forward always get some people there in my life that are very instrumental and mean me good i went to the case and i met belinda makanoff and she guided me i was traveling because you know the scholarship was the scholarship was not enough to cover boarding it was enough to pay the school fee but not boarding so i was traveling and miss belinda makanoff you know get me on campus and i was on campus and by the january i was there before she used to pick me up in the morning when she was going up and uh, we traveled together but then i got to live on and then you know i met miss bignall who she was in charge of what they call it like maintaining the place cleaning and stuff i did jam fat um she was my supervisor while i did the jam fat so i got money extra money so i had a scholarship like the, the scholarship i had to maintain a b average at least a b average to continue getting it for the three years which be average like that was not hard to maintain so yes i got the scholarship right through but i did jam fat and those kind of things to help me to supplement the scholarship and that's when um, i remember one of the time i went to windsor castle to do 
the jam pad. So you know you go down there, you clean the library or whatever, and I met Miss Carr. She was Miss Carr. Didn't murder anything at the time. And I met her and then you know she gave me books, like books that we needed to. That was the first year of case. Books that I needed to, 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 to do some of the exams. She lent me books and from that time until today, me and Miss Carr still a role. Big up herself. And yeah, we went to Port Antonio Primary to do my teaching practice. Got A for the teaching practice and all of them good things there. And yeah, so that was my journey right after I left um, Port Antonio Primary for teaching practice. I got a job at Buff Bay Prime. So yes guys, that was my, my story from um, basic school to college. So please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. It's your girl Garnet Bless checking out. See you on the other side. Bye.